Carrying the American president from one place to another is nothing short of a nightmare dream that is fulfilled in reality every day. But, the president who is considered to be one of the greatest people in the greatest need for security when they are traveling, and that history also proves that two of the four Americans were killed in a president attack. While they were traveling, they are the presidents James Garfield and John F. Kennedy have considered presidential driving extremely risky since secret service agents have to do this with regular planning to carry the most powerful president of the world from one place to another. By the way, they try their best to get the president to travel by Marine One helicopter or Air Force One plane. If the destination is only a 20-minute drive away, use the presidential motorcade in this case. The president's motorcade consists of more than 50 vehicles and more than 150 people. All the vehicles and every person sitting in them have a different place during this journey one thing is planned. The president will sit in the car from a specific site, which car will come first and which will come last, and which man from Haddad will open the door of the president's car. Everything is planned if a single move is out of the plan. It is a dangerous alarm for secret service agents. The president's motor gate is divided into two parts. In the first part, about 30 bikes with police cars are 10 minutes ahead of the president's limousine. And their job is to stay ahead and clear the road. And behind this, one root car leads 30 cars. Most of these vehicles arrive before the president's action and block the road exit and entry point. No private vehicle should come on the road, but this method of clearing the road is different for each place. Other techniques are often used to clear the road. As in this video, the police motorcycle is clearing the road in a pattern V. This first part of the motor gate is not just run by secret service agents rather. It includes local police station vehicles and motorcycles. Now let's talk about the second part of the motor gate. In the second part, the lead car or lead motorcycle is at the forefront. All the other vehicles in the motor gate follow this lead of motorcycles. The road to be taken by the conveying and the speed at which it is to be carried all executed by the motorcycle. This group of vehicles you see after the lead car is called the secure package. Because these vehicles directly protect the president, in the event of an attack on the motor gate, this secure package can be operated separately from the entire motor gate. The most important vehicle in this secure package is the presidential limousine. But no one knows which limousine the president is actually sitting in because two identical limousines travel in a secure package. There is no single difference between the two limousines. Their model, color, size, flag, and even their number plates are the same. During the journey, the president's limousine also keeps changing its position so that even if an attacker finds out in which limousine the president is sitting, even if he sees the same limousine, he gets confused. The limousine, also called the Beast, is no ordinary vehicle as it was specially prepared for the president. To strengthen the presidential limousine, it is built on a truck frame, its entire body is bulletproof and all its window are made of 5 inch thick glass even a bullet fired at closed range cannot cross this glass. All the windows except the driver's side window are sealed, meaning there is no option to open windows. The 9-ton limousine has all the safety features of the president. Rocket garnets, tear gas, short guns, an emergency oxygen cylinder, a first aid box, and two bottles of the president's blood group are also always present. Even the tires of this limousine are not ordinary tires. Even if they are punctured, the vehicle is capable of moving at high speed. The leading vehicle in the security package is the Bomb Jammer, also known as United States Security Service Electronic Countermeasures Suburban. Two antennas above it throw a radio signal far enough away if a bomb is planted on the way. Not only that, but this vehicle can also protect the motor gate from guided missiles. It is equipped with sensors that remotely detected the incoming guided missile. Guided missiles follow the heat coming from the vehicle. And in this case, this vehicle can change the direction of the guided missiles by leaving the flame. The given vehicle in the security package is called the control car. It has the president of personal doctor and office staff. The two rearmost vehicles carry the secret service agent. The nearest vehicle is called halfback, in which sitting agents are present with the president at all times while the second vehicle is called a cat car means a counter assault team car. 
The back window of both these vehicles is always open in which agents can be seen with automatic weapons ready for emergency situations at all times. In the event of an attack, the agents in the first vehicle protect the president. And the Secret Service agents in the other vehicle are always ready to retaliate against the attackers. This vehicle inside the motor gate is present reporters and journalists. While this car is called an ID car. And this agent stay in contact with other agents in the surrounding area. Which keeps the ID car informed of every small and big event. This truck is also a very important part of the motor gate. It has trained staff and advanced machinery to protect the president from chemical, nuclear, and biological attacks. This vehicle you are looking at is called a roadrunner on top of which various antennas can be seen. This vehicle is a moving mobile tower. That is, the wireless of all the vehicles in the motor gate goes through this roadrunner. If the president wants to use the internet or talk to someone on the phone, the entire communication system of the motor gate works through on this roadrunner. There is also an ambulance in the president's convey. If someone gets injured in this whole motor gate, the team of doctors present in this ambulance gives him immediate treatment. Finally, it is the Secret Service agent's vehicles that services as backup support. And finally, no vehicle should cross the motor gate by backing up from behind. That's why this police car covers the entire road. You will also be surprised to know that the entire motor gate from the starting point to the end is within sight of the helicopter. In this helicopter, automatic machine gun snipers and secret service agents monitor the entire convoy. But it doesn't end here as you've already seen in this video. That the motor gate is used only when the president has to go somewhere close. If the president has to go out of the country, then the difficulties of this mission increase. Two days before the president fly, both of his limousines, secret service vehicles, and gamer cars accessories are loaded into the C-17 Blue Master airplane. On the day of the president's flight, he also departs from the White House on B-1 helicopter. The helicopter used by the president is called Marine One. This helicopter does not do it alone as five helicopters take off one after the other so that no one can find out which helicopter the president is riding and landing at the airbase. Two U.S. Air Force modifying Boeing 747 planes are already waiting for the president. The plane the president flies in is called Air Force One. Just as the plane the president flies in is called Marine One. The plane has all the safety and security facilities of the president so that the president does not face any difficulty during the flight which includes the presidential state dressing room, executive dressing room, conference room, dining room, and it also kitchen, and the president's office. Like the president's limousine and marine helicopter, Air Force One does not do it alone, even two identical planes take off together. After the president takes off, another difficult process begins, and that is to leave his helicopters in the cargo planes. Wherever the president goes, helicopters accompany him in case of an emergency in another country. So, a helicopter is a vehicle that does not need a special airfield for takeoff and landing. The helicopter blades are folded and loaded into the C-17 Globemaster, and the cargo ship departs behind the president's plane. Viewers, anything that was done to make traveling safe for the president of the United States is well worth the cost. According to research by Waynes and Productions, it takes the president an hour to get from the White House in D.C. to the U.N., in which a total of $157,000 is spent on this. This is a one-way charge only. Return charges are not included. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this video. And subscribe.